Hey guys, Moltrap here, and I'm going to be doing a uh, video guide on how to add commentary to Korean StarCraft VODs. You can also uh, theoretically use this as a guide on how to put audio narration onto any video, I guess. And specifically using a Macintosh, by the way. So um, Diggity already made a video on how to do this on Windows, on a PC. So this is how to do it on a Mac using iMovie. Um, but for those of you that are watching this guide uh, that don't know StarCraft, I'm going to be focusing on pro professional StarCraft uh, games. So that's why I keep mentioning stuff like that. Okay, so first of all, get yourself a game. And uh, oftentimes you'll find your game and it will be in OGM format or WMV format. In order to use iMovie, you need a, a format that is accepted by QuickTime, so MP4 or MOV. Okay, so what I use is a movie called, I'm sorry, a movie called, a, come on, there you go, a program called iSquint, okay? And um, <clears throat> it's a pretty good program. It'll convert basically anything to an MP4 file, okay? So uh, I usually click Optimize for TV and Go Nuts for the quality so that the more quality comes out on the other end. I also usually click H.264 encoding now. I used to not bother, but uh, sometimes when you don't, it comes out as like a blank game where the audio is exported as a video, but it doesn't actually export the video, uh, which sucks. Uh, so H.264 encoding, might as well, right? Um, the reason I do high quality is that way when you import it into iMovie, you can actually see it better in iMovie, uh, so you can see stuff, read the upgrades better and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be too big of a deal in the long run, because when you put it on YouTube, it's not going to uh, have very much quality anyways. Okay, so then I'll hit start, and kind of like a cooking show, I've already got one cooked up, so I'm just going to so come over here. I've already got one converted, so it usually takes like five minutes to convert a video. And then you're going to get out your iMovie, right here, okay, and uh, make sure it's on the clips section here, and then come over here and drag your clip over into the box and just drop it in, and it'll... <clears throat> sell you its importing files. Files take a, actually a while to import. For some reason, like a 15 minute game will take uh, 20 or sometimes 30 minutes to import, <clears throat> which is kind of ridiculous. So usually I'll, I'll end up throwing something in import and then go and make a sandwich or whatever. And then come back. Uh, my computer has actually gotten better at importing because I guess I've given it so many files to import. Anyways, so again, I'm just going to cancel that for now. I've got some clips here and uh, throw that in there and actually I've I've already done this a few times. This is take four. Um, so I keep having to replace the audio clip there. What you can do then, by the way, once you have your game here, and again, like I said, I've done this before, so I've already cut off the beginning, but sometimes in the beginning, uh, there's just, you know, people yakking and stats and stuff like that. You don't want to watch all that and, and have to do your commentary over it. So all you do is just take this full set of, like, these two little clips here, and that's how you select what. <clears throat> what? Well, I, that's how you select a portion of the video. So you drag it out here, and now I've selected the first two minutes, eleven seconds of the movie, and you just hit delete, and it'll get rid of it. So you just drag it forward until you find the beginning of the game, and then you delete it off, off the beginning. Um, if you wanted to take something out of the middle, you can do the same thing: select in the middle and copy that and paste it out, or whatever. Um, so, but in this instance, I'm going to go with this other clip that I've already had just for fun because it's a nice little clip. And uh, what you're going to want to do next is then go down to media, click media, okay, and um, you're going to go down here and you're going to click this little red button and that's going to be record. So you hit record and then you go over here and you watch your video and you say, oh my gosh, storm the hell out of those hydras, stork is such a pimp, Woot. okay, and then you come back over here when you're done and you hit the red button again and I'll stop recording. Okay, so simple enough. And now you've got your video. Now what you want to do is, this is why I put the audio file back. Usually the, um, the audio level will be at, a, at um, 100%. And if it is at 100%, this is what you're going to hear. Okay, you can't hear your commentary at all. So you actually have to drag the Korean commentary down. I usually do 6%. Then they're still there in the background. You can hear them yelling and screaming and stuff. And it's all fun. And uh, you can still hear the StarCraft sound a little bit. And then drag your audio up to 150%. And that usually works pretty well. Okay, then if it's like too big and you want to split it, select the file, make sure it's blue, and then select a point in the file. So, you know, go to like uh, 10 minutes, 50 seconds or whatever, because YouTube will only allow files 
under 11 minutes okay and then you hit command T or you can just go up here to edit and split video clip at playhead and then you've now you've got two clips here okay now once you've done that then you're gonna actually um, export it from iMovie do that you go up here to share click share and you can either click uh, quick time or you can click share down here I'll give you all the options uh, CD-ROM is decent it's pretty decent quality um, I usually do expert settings though uh, I think it's a little bit better when you hit expert settings then you can go down here and open up your options and um, YouTube they store their files at 320 by 240 so you don't need to use a bigger dimensions I used to use bigger dimensions because I thought it was higher quality but um, it's not necessary uh, with the expert settings you can put the frame rate up uh, make it a little bit better higher quality and you can still have it at pretty high quality and it'll still be relatively good um, quality video so um, when it's at 320 by 240 so that's what I recommend also in expert settings you can turn down the audio quality um, turn down the bitrate and I usually put it on mono because um, I'm not recording in stereo so it doesn't do much good to have it exported in stereo it's just extra um, you know file space taken up by that other track so uh, anyways so that's what I do there and then you just export it and then the other important thing is if you're doing two different clips make sure share selected video clips only is selected and then that will export only the one that you have blued out or blued out that sounds kind of funny the one that you have selected okay and then once that's done exporting then you go down here and you click on the other file and then you would share that one okay do the same thing so then that's pretty much it um, I guess a uh, couple details there's a setting to um, make sure that these things are on it's like show volume levels and waveform or something like that and if you want to increase and decrease the sound you can do that if you really want to make sure these things are on because otherwise it won't uh, have the audio in there uh, so yeah, and then once you're done with that, uh, pretty simple. You go over here and uh, go to your Firefox, hit upload on YouTube, and um, uh, put in your all your stuff there and upload it. And there you go. Now you're a commentator. And then you want to come over here to sc2gg.com in the forums and uh, scroll down here to the e-media section. Come into the new commentator postings and just hit up new topic. And you can come over here and be like, Day, I got commentary. My first try. Whee. Whee. Dee. Okay, you get the idea. So, whatever you type down here, you can just be like, uh, you know, hey guys, etc. I'm a new commentator. Check me out. Here's my links. Okay, and uh, yeah, and you know, just post it there, and don't be if don't be like, oh, I suck, I'm not even gonna post it or anything like that. Just, just try it out. I mean, seriously, you might have fun with it, and that's the important part here. And the people at sd2gd.com, really damn friendly community. Everyone there, no one's gonna like flame you or anything like that. Everyone's pretty nice. So, um, and you know, at, at the very, very worst, you'll get constructive feedback in this section. So. You know, don't trip. Just go ahead and try it out. And, uh, you know, everyone is, is uh, well, I don't say everyone's bad when they start out, actually, because some, some guys are pretty damn good when they start out. But I was pretty bad when I started out, I thought. And uh, some people still think I'm bad, of course, but I think I've improved. And it's you just have to do more of it, and that's, that's how you get better. So you just have to start. So don't be afraid to start. And then if you see, think you enjoy it, then uh, you can keep doing it. All right, if there's anything I missed in here, then, uh, well, I'm not going to re-record this because I've already done that three times already, So, uh, but I might put it in the description, anything I missed. So I uh, hope, hope this is helpful. Thanks.